again, that he's opted for the the hundred uh, ahead of the four hundred here. You have Michael Cherry, Karani James. I mean, I, Karani's got to be the favorite because he medaled right and he ran sub forty four this year, but Cherry has the second best PB there. The Gardner's not here. This Diamond League final is going to be open. It's going to be open for the taking. Michael Cherry, yeah, could work his way in and win the Diamond League, and it'd be a credit to him. Travis pulled up this great stat here. He's run eleven forty fours in a row, Michael Cherry. So, if you had the thought in your head, if you're following track, an American track, and you're like, "Man, Michael Cherry, guy is just so consistent. He's like he always runs forty four. You are correct. Follow your instincts. It's absolutely true. He's run eleven of them in a row. Um, going back to May the 9th, you know, through the rounds, he's just clicking off these 44s as well, too. And he he got another one in uh, Riveredo yesterday where he runs 44.55, shutting it down at the end. I'm sure, no doubt, saving something for for Brussels. So I think we could see, I'm going to say this right here. I think this the, the 44 second streak ends, Gordon, because he's going to run a 43. I think we're going to see oh, okay. right. a 43 from Michael Cherry in Brussels. So the streak's going to end, but it's going to end in a good way. And he's going to go sub 44. Sub 44. Yeah, I mean, if you kind of look at like this 44-5 as like a first round or a second round of mm -hmm. a three-round race, he's kind of has his 44-5 kind of shutting it down in the final, you know, 25 meters. He's definitely setting himself up for a, maybe a potential PB in 43 seconds. In this diamond league, yeah, we 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 just talked about there's an opportunity in the 400, right? The 100, yep, the yep. 200, and the 800 all have U.S. World Champions, so you can't get a buy in any of those events. But you can get the buy in the 400, and with no Stephen Gardner in there, with Randolph Ross basically being a NCA top time from a long time ago, there's just mm -hmm. a, there's an opening, right? Karani James. The Zambrano, Norman, and then Cherry. Like, and that's why I thought Fred Curley yeah. would notice this and be like, hey, I should get in there and potentially win a 400. He does say hashtag 42. So, hey, maybe get your 42 now <laughs> in this Diamond League final <laughs> and maybe say, saving it for 2022. But yeah, I, I like your idea that maybe Cherry is going to be the one who gets that buy. And uh, then the US will have a buy in the one, the two, the four, and the eight potentially. He doesn't – I don't think he'll even need it, though, to be honest, because no. I think he'll qualify easy. Look at the 400 right now for the U.S. on the men's side versus the two and the one. It's not close yeah. in terms of depth. Like, U.S. men's 200 right now, just say, for example, Norman runs it next year. So he's a 1970 guy. You have Lyles. You have Curley. You have Bednarik. You have Knighton and Norman. That's ridiculous. You go in the 100 and – it's, it's stacked too. Yeah, exactly. And that's not even mentioning guys like that who are right on the cusp. But but someone like Bednarik, like it's very clear where he's going. Right? He's so solid. Pearly, so yeah. solid. Lyles runs a 19.5 this year. Knighton. Yeah, he's super young. So, you know, his future isn't secure. But to be that fast, you'd think he's – as likely a candidate to improve as anybody else. And then if Norman gets in the mix, it's interesting that Norman could choose an event. He might be end up being better in the 200 than the 400, but his path would be harder in the 200 than the 400 because, as you mentioned, like you look at the top times of the year, Randolph Ross's NCAA time, Norman's 44.07, Cherry's 44.2, then you're going to you know Noah Williams running 44.3. But I don't know next year what the men's 400 in the U.S. is going to look like. There'll be another youngster who pops up because there always is because it's the 400. But that is just so much easier path than the 200. Yeah. And so we'll see in this 400 with uh, Cherry trying to make into the final. Um, and looks like Fred Curley is trying to go all in on the one, the two this year. Maybe we won't see a 400 from him. So it's a bummer, but we'll. I think we'll see. if He said he's going to do the 400. Because he won, he tweeted hashtag forty two. So I'm just, I want to see we, it. I want, I want to, I want to see him in the four. Can we do the? Can we pull up the 
Diamond League 400 standings again. I know we did that last time, but is it possible to pull those up again? I just want to see because now we know who's in the Russell's race, so we know who's going to get points. But who's like who's in the top eight spot spots right now to to qualify for Zurich in the final? Because you know, Zambrano obviously is solid. Karani James has has been amazing this year in, in in Tokyo and Gardner. But if those guys aren't there right <laughs> like it just it just it like the the path is so open for for cherry and he can factor in anyway just because that consistency is awesome all right so is this the diamond league standings here yeah so let's blow that up okay blow it up okay so well cherry's wait, gonna cherry's need to n- win he's gonna, he's gonna, need, he's to gonna win. need to win okay yeah man okay Which so zambra so if you're listening and not watching, Zambrano, James, Norwood, Nor- Michael Norman is there. <laughs> Lendor, David Ree, Fred Curley, and Bonavasia of the Netherlands are there. So six points is the is the last time in right now, but you're going to get a bunch of scratches here as well too. So I would think he'd be fine. I think he would get enough points to make it in because the, the field right now, Bonavasia, Borley, Cherry, Doom, James Lendor, Secor, and and Taylor. So we don't know who's scratching. I mean, I would be, I guess I wouldn't be surprised if Norman ran, but he hasn't run a 400 since Tokyo. And then Curly, maybe Curly's just going to stay in there if no one passes him. Maybe he'll do it. No, no, because it, he's six points is going to get popped, uh, bumped out for yeah. sure. Because like Bonifacio is going to get at least a point in that he's in this. Brussels race, so he'll at least get a point. He'll move mm-hmm. on, you know, because basically everyone in that field gets a point. Yeah, it's a top yeah, eight, yeah. right? So they all get a point. So, so he needs at least. So Cherry would need at least, well, probably at least six. So he needs to finish no lower than third. Yeah, yeah but I mean, likely probably I mean, needs to finish second or first, which I think he, he, I think second at least with Karani James in there, he can at least get second. Yeah, yeah. So if Rovereto was the first round, Brussels is like the semi, and then Zurich is his final, right? Yeah, there you go. So maybe he only has 44 all. low, and then he says he's 43 for the final. It's going to happen this year. The streak will be broken, and he will rejoice because it will be good. Let's look at the.